All right, good evening, everyone, and Merry Christmas Eve for those of you celebrating. I'm filling in for Jill this Sunday night, and we are taking a look at the Christmas Day forecast. So it's actually going to be pretty nice. Let's take a look as we head towards tomorrow. So tomorrow, it's actually going to be pretty cloudy heading out the door, and we are going to see some fog to start off this morning or tomorrow morning. So we do want to give you that first alert. You might encounter a little bit of fog, maybe an isolated shower, but otherwise, we do stay dry for tomorrow. So you can see temperatures in will be mild will be in the mid 40s along the shoreline even mild or possibly getting there 50 degrees. We'll see mostly cloud cover, but maybe some peaks of sunshine. So we've seen a couple isolated showers out there today. Our first alert satellite radar showing us mostly just cloudy out there tonight. But if you are heading out the door to in some northern spots where temperatures might be below freezing, it's a good idea to take it slow. There might be just a couple slippery spots out there from some of those isolated showers we had through today. Here's a live look in Mystic. It's all festive all pretty out there headlines some patchy fog for tomorrow morning and then dry for tomorrow and Tuesday but then we're tracking our next system for Wednesday so right now it looks like the latest timing showing us more Wednesday afternoon into Thursday morning we'll continue to keep you posted now this should be gone pretty soon this river flood warning is expected to expire around midnight this evening uh, for the Connecticut River this is south of Hartford of course this is from all of the rainfall that we had on Monday so we are expecting uh, it to go past flood stage very soon. All right, here's a look at our high temperatures. You can see today we got into the 40s, 48 degrees in New Haven, 49 in Groton. Once again, very mild. And our first alert live radar showing us, yeah, just a quick little shower right now uh, in the northeast corner of our state. Otherwise, we're dry. We are seeing a little bit of fog in northeast Connecticut as well. So something to point out if you're heading out the door uh, at the moment. 42 degrees, very festive in Waterbury as well. Visibility. Definitely down. Look at that. Three quarters of a mile in Willimantic, zero in Putnam right now, and a quarter of a mile in Chester as well. So since 24 hours ago, we're much milder. You can see those temperatures are up and in the 40s. And this is actually our normal high this time of year is about 39 degrees. So we're already past that in a lot of spots of our state. Wind speeds are calm. Let's walk you through that first alert future cast. You can see into tomorrow we see a lot of clouds, maybe a couple breaks of sunshine. For the most part, though, clouds take over the forecast. Into Tuesday, we're looking at mostly cloudy conditions once again. We shift to that southwesterly flow that's going to pump in some milder air, so we might see some temperatures in the 50s. Into Wednesday, we start to see a couple showers, especially in western Connecticut for the morning, but the bulk of the system looks like it's going to move in sometime in the afternoon, and you can actually see into Thursday morning, we potentially could see some of those showers linger as well. A look at our first alert seven day forecast. So temperatures, yep, in the 50s next week, very mild for this time of year. Lows actually only in the 40s. So once again, way too warm for any kind of wintry precipitation. But the chance does increase as we get towards the weekend, the last weekend of 2023. So you can see on Friday, we're looking at a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures uh, on Saturday nearing 40 degrees. And New Year's Eve right now, looking at temperatures in the 30s with lows in the 20s. So we'll keep you posted on that, especially as we get closer and closer to the new year. And a lot of you have plans. You can stay up to date with our forecast on the air and also on our WFSB weather app. Dylan. All right. Tuesday looking good. Thanks, mm -hmm. Lauren. Well, how about this?